Good morning, children. How are you? Welcome to another Savior's Planet. Hang out. Jesus, maker of them all. Enjoy Nathaniel Bassi. Hmm. I see you right now. You shine for you are everything. Is you precious Jesus? You wonder you have. Oh, 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 You amaze me, the, the Lord. Poor. Okay, okay, okay. Good morning, everyone. How are you today, children? I hope you've washed your hand, you've had your breath, and you've done the usual during this period, which is um, sanitizing your hand. Okay, this was made possible by Wealth Island Properties Africa. Uh, Mr. Tadikash, thank you very much for sending this. I mean, he's giving like a thousand to a thousand homes. Thank you. God bless you. Okay, so you know how we do it. We pray. Father, we thank you for another Sunday. Thank you for my say the saviors that you have made for yourself. And thank you, Lord, for the session that we've always had every Sunday. Thank you, Lord, for your wisdom and your power. Thank you for your grace and your honor, your unction, and everything. We thank you for all our saviors. Thank you, Lord, for how they were able to save their rooms last week. Thank you for the assignments that they turned in. Thank you for the great things you have done and all you are yet to do. Thank you for our world because it's becoming a new world that you want for yourself. It's becoming a great world, a fantastic world. Now, last week, how well did you save your room? That was the question I asked. Uh, I mean, the assignments I gave us, go save your room. And I'm really, really glad that some of you sent your pictures of how you saved your room. Um, some of you sent the other assignment about the Good Shepherd, um, the Ultimate Shepherd. You sent it back to me. Ebube Okoria, thank you very much for your assignment. Um, David Price, thank you for sending in your task. Um, Israel Musa from Kaduna, thank you. Kaduna is in Nigeria. And for those of you who sent your room, um, Araudua and Ashodua sent how they saved their room from Canada. I think um, they sent it in from Ottawa, Ottawa in Canada. Um, I saw it, very good, good job. Um, Fifo Folawiyo sent in his own from Lagos. Um, Fifo, I love your room. I want to come and spend time in your room. Mofinifonua sent our own. And Isi Moka was the first person to turn in how she saved our room. Um, thank you very much, Isi. I think Isi is six years old or something like that. Thank you, Daddy and Mommy, for supervising. And for you, Daddy and Mommy, that did not supervise and did not do it, I don't know what to do to you. Okay, maybe we need to quarantine you for like um, one week right so that you begin to you know pay attention to our saviors okay today what are we doing we are looking at saviors operating system or God's operating system by the way about 2,000 years ago something specifically happened um, in our world today was Palm Sunday that was when it was instituted that was the day Jesus rode as a savior into Jerusalem and people were screaming Osana to the son of David, what Osana means is save us, save us. To say that Savior, come and save us. Okay, we're going to learn a little bit about that later in our class today. But what is our test for today? Romans chapter 8, verse 14. If you have your Bible, you can turn to that place. Um, it says in some translations, As many as are led by the Spirit of God, they are the sons of God. But in our special um savior's planet translation of the bible it reads as many as are led by the operating system of god they are the sons of god as many as are led by the thinking pattern by the reasoning faculty of god they are the son i mean have you thought about it what would it feel like to be like god for one day what will you do if you are if you were to be in god's position and think and have all god's power for one day, what will you do? How will you rule our world? Will you beat people who uh, are wicked? Will you kill them? Or what exactly would you do? Right? That's amazing. I mean, you know what it feels like to think like God? Why don't you pause for a moment? And if you were God, how will you walk? Right? How will you talk? Can you demonstrate it? How you would talk if you were God? If I were God, 
how to say, hey everyone, I am God Almighty, oh, I have come now, okay? So I'm going to give food to everyone in Africa. I'm going to heal our world of Ebola, of um, coronavirus. So Corona, go, okay? Be careful because you are going to express now, 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 now. <laughs> okay, how will you walk like God? How will you talk like Him? How will you think and feel if you were in God's position? But we have this operating system. All the problem in the world today is because mankind has refused to activate the operating system of God in them. Now, so Matthew, Romans 8, 14, as many as are led by the operating system of God, they are the sons of God. Because when God made man, he said he breathed his breath into man, which is operating system, and man became a living being. He said, let us make man in our image. So, you were made in God's image, and you look like God. So if people say you, you are Gorimapa, you are Gorimapa of God. That's what God looks like. If people say you are ugly, that's what God looks like. It's because they don't know God. Right? So, what is an operating system? Yeah. If you are doing computer in your school or you use the computer very well, you will know that your computer cannot work without the operating system. Your computer will not work effectively because the operating system is the software that controls the operation of a computer and directs the processing of programs. It is the software that controls the operation of a computer. So everything that happens in the computer is controlled by the operating system. The same way everything that happens in our life is controlled by our operating system. If your operating system is corrupt, you will live a corrupt life. If your operating system is authentic, you will live an authentic life. The problem of the world is people are installing bad operating system. That's why we lie. That's why we steal. That's why we fight. Because our operating system is corrupt. If our operating system is love operating system, we will love everyone. We will take care of them. We will care for them. We will do everything. We will not talk to them anyhow. We will not shout and scream on them. Now, children, God's big idea is the creation of saviors who look like him and can do what he can do in creating heaven and earth. And that's why he gave us his operating system so that we can think and live like him. Well, I mean, how would it feel if you can think? No, you'll be a genius if you think like God. But you have that power. You, you, I mean, what would it be to live like God? What kind of mansion will you, what kind of house would you live in, right? If you live and think like God, how would it feel like? And what would it be like to think and live like God? I mean, it's, so, so it's going to be amazing and awesome and fantastic. Wow. I would love to live and think and talk like God. Now, so God's big idea is a DNA of God, which means God wants his operating system to be installed in us so that we can think and act like him. So, I mean, some of you, when people look at you and they say, you look like your father, you know, it's like, like father, like son. When people observe you, they say, you look like daddy. You, you think like daddy. You talk like daddy, right? So God's operating system is so that we can think and act like him. So look at God. God is a creator. The first man that was created was Adam. Adam also was a creator. Adam created things, right? So the question is, you, as God's child, as a savior, what will you create? God in Genesis was an effective manager. He managed the entire world. Adam was managing the Garden of Eden. How will you manage your room and everything that has been committed into your hand? God is the source of all intelligence. God is so powerful, right? Adam was so intelligent, he named all the animals. So the name dog, it was Adam. The name goat, it was Adam. The name uh, chicken, it was Adam. Adam named everything, right? Now, question is, what will you do to become the most intelligent in your field? God's operating system makes you very intelligent. Okay, so walk like an intelligent person. Feel like an intelligent person. Next one, God is full of love. Adam was full of love. Question, are you not supposed to be full of love as well? When you're full of love, you will not fight people. You will not talk down then. You will not look down on people. God was global. I mean, he's still global. Adam was global. Everybody knew Adam, right? Which means you can also become global with your solution, your products and services. God is supreme in heaven 
and on earth. He's a supreme God in heaven and on earth. Adam was supreme on earth and God knows him. Now you can become supreme on, in heaven and on earth. God is the custodian and source of every talent. Adam also was full of talent that can deliver results. You, as a savior, you have a lot of talent in you that can deliver results. I want you to say to yourself, I have got talent in me and I can deliver results. Good. So whatever you can do, if you can sing, your song can heal nations. If you can love people, your love can heal nations. If you can teach, your teaching can heal nations. If you can invent vaccine to solve coronavirus, it can save a lot of people from death. Right? If you can have a farm, you can feed nations. Right? And God is omnipresent. He's present everywhere. Adam also was present in the garden and everything is created was present all over the world. So which means you can invent products and services that can go all over the world. Mark Zuckerberg has gone all over the world with Facebook. Okay? Um, Bill Gates has gone over the world with Microsoft. You can, Coca-Cola has gone everywhere with Coca-Cola. You can create something that will go all over the world. I want you to close your eyes and see what you have created going all over the world people are using it in japan they are using it in china in saudi arabia in iraq in nigeria cambodia south africa wow so what is that thing that you have created that is going around the world everyone is clapping for you how rich will you be if you can make a solution that goes all around the world how you know impactful will you be how much more problem will you be able to solve how much will you be able to help and save humanity as a savior, right? So you need to look like God. So God and Adam, they look alike. So see what God did. God planted a tree. But from the trees, man created chairs and trees, right? Uh, from, from the trees, they created chairs from the trees. Question, if you look at the chair, what will you make from the chair? Is it that you are going to destroy the chair by jumping on it, jumping on it, jumping on it? Or you're going to look at the chair and say, what else can I create? Because something else is in the chair. What can you make out of the chair? God made steel, but man made cars from steel. What are you going to make from the cars? Maybe flying cars. Maybe uh, you know, teleporting, where if we raise one leg, we can land in Japan. We can land in America. Okay? God created crude and put it in the soil. Man created petrol from crude. What are you going to make from petrol? Right? God created gold and hid it inside a herd. Man extracted gold and created gold chain, gold uh, plate, gold shoe, golden shoe, golden house. Right from that, what will you make from gold? God created the hair and the weather. But man created air conditioning system so when it's hot man turn on the air conditioning and everywhere is cold what will you create god created stones but man made granite from stones and built roads so it tells us that we are so powerful like god we can innovate we can invent we can create a savior saviors don't complain about problems saviors solve the problem so every time there's a problem saviors go to god because they have the opportunity and say god what do you think about this problem and what is the solution and god tells them my son savior this is the solution so right so when man was using you know donkey to travel man went to god god this lord journey from lagos to abuja is taking one year right and god said my son look at the steel and iron ore you can make a car and man made a car and that journey became 10 hours even at that man was still complaining god is taking 10 hours to go to abuja and god man went to god and god said oh you can also make airplane and man made the airplane and guess what abuja is now 45 minutes so how will you solve the problem of the world how will you make it faster cheaper and better but you see for everything god has created he must function in an environment it's called the habitat and God puts power in every human being that he has made. So God made birds. But inside the birds, God placed flight in birds to survive in the sky. If you put a bird on the ground, bird will just be very useless. Bird, if you release it into the sky, because God placed flight in the bird. God made fish and it came with a swimming ability. Fishes don't learn how to swim, right? But the place of fish is in the sea. 
if you put fish on the ground, fish is going to suffer. The same way God made a cheetah. Cheetah, you know, cheetah that animal and get the cheetah speed to survive in the jungle. Imagine if you put the cheetah, uh, cheetah in um, the pool to swim. It's going to be frustrated. The same way God made you and he put you in his presence. Because every time you go outside of God, you will struggle. So you can only survive and get the best out of you, right? When you are in God's presence. And how do you be in God's presence? You are conscious that he owns your operating system. He lives inside of you and you walk in him. You become very powerful. At that, love will fill your heart. You no longer fight, be disobedient and, and, and be bad. No, you'll be very good at all times. Because you know God is your father. Everything God created came with a natural ability that makes it stand out from every other creature and the right environment where it functions best. So there's a natural power in you. Some of you sing very well. It's a natural ability that God placed in you so that you can get into the music world and save our world. Some of you can play instrument. God placed that natural ability so that you can get into the music world and save our world. Some of you can act. God placed the acting ability in you so that you can get into Hollywood, Nollywood and save our world with good content. Some of you, you can think. God placed it in you. Some of you, you are scientists. You are making things or you are engineers. God placed it in you so that you can invent and innovate new things for our world. Now, Adam matched God's talent with God's character. So he was not just talented. And Jesus did the same. Right? He did not just resemble God in his ability to use it. Because you can have talent and still be a problem. You can be rich and solve problems for our world and still kill people, right? But Adam and Jesus, they were very talented, they were genius, but they served God. The same way you see people, David, served God, Solomon, all of them, right? They, they have the talent in a way the world respected him, but he also matched it with character, so that he looked like God in words and deeds and the way they treated everyone. Everything he did was in the best interest of humanity. Which means everything you are created should not just be to make you rich. It should be to solve problems for humanity and make life easy for humanity. With one of the right, they made the airplane. And now mankind can fly faster and safer. Mark Zuckerberg made Facebook. And now we can all connect. You are watching me, some of you on Facebook, some of you on Instagram. Right? Because Mark Zuckerberg made it possible. Right? Thomas Edison made the incandescent lamp. And that's why we can have electric bulb. What will you create for humanity? And what will you save our world from? Mark Zuckerberg save us from going long distance to communicate and communicating for free. We burn with right, save us from donkey traveling with donkey. Imagine if you have to swim to America from Nigeria, right? Imagine if you have to get on a ship from Cameroon to London. How many months? Imagine if you have to get on um, your donkey to travel from Lagos to Abuja or from Nigeria to China. How tough would that be? These people saved us from stress. What will you save our world from? So, what happens was there are two operating systems. The first one is called Adam 1.0, which was the one God gave Adam. But along the line, a virus entered it. It was the virus of disobedience. And it became corrupt. So man fell because God said, this operating system operates here. Don't touch this fruit. But man, Adam disobeyed and went to touch the fruit. And inside that fruit was virus. So virus contaminated that operating system and it crashed. And from then, man began to struggle. But God went into the lab and began to create research. Say, what shall we do? So he sent prophets. Prophets could not solve the problem. He sent judges. Judges could not solve the problem. He sent, you know, kings. Kings could not solve Then he said, let us manufacture another operating system called Adam 2.0, which is faster, swifter. And Adam 2.0 was Jesus, right? So Jesus came and Adam 2.0 was launched 2,000 years ago by Jesus. So next week, for example, will be Easter, right? Friday will be Good Friday. You will learn what happened on Friday when Jesus died and he rose on Sunday, right? Adam 2.0 was so powerful that people gathered. When Jesus began to launch it, people gathered. And they began to sing, Hosanna to the son of David. Sa Hosanna means, save us, Lord. That was when Savior's planet was launched. Adam 2.0, save us, save us, Jesus, save us, 
Savior, Savior, save us, Savior, save us, Jesus, from the problem of the world, from the problem of the world. So people that were blind came saying, save us, save us, Jesus, those who were lame, come save us. Save us, Jesus, those who were broken at it. Save us, save us, Jesus, from the problem of the world. So they bought palm front, palm trees, their clothes, and they laid it on the floor. And Jesus rode on a donkey into Jerusalem. And they started singing. They kept singing, Hosanna in the highest, Hosanna in the highest. Humanity is singing, Hosanna in the highest, that save us, Lord, save us. Today, mankind is still singing, save us, Lord. Now, question is, who will ride the donkey into Jerusalem to save mankind? So, Palm Sunday was launched 2,000 years ago when the operating system, Adam 2.0, was launched, which is the operating system that can save mankind, that can solve mankind's problem, but it can only happen if we install it. Adam 2.0 healed the sick, raised the dead, while Adam 1.0 parted the Red Sea. Adam 2.0 created bridges from the Red Sea. So he said, how long shall we begin to stretch our own like Moses and part the Red Sea? Why don't we invent bridges? That's Adam 2.0. Adam 2.1.0, right, waited for God to send angels and prophets. Adam 2.0 installed God in us. Emmanuel, God with us, God in us, right? So Adam 2.0, once you are installing it into you, it brings God into you, then your life is led by God, you think like God, you function like God, you feel like God. So if you think like God, you won't think sickness. If you think like God, you won't think wickedness. If you think like God, you won't think disobedience. If you think, if you install that operating system, everything changes. So how many of you want to install Adam 2.0? Right, it's so powerful, it makes you a genius. Right? So if you are struggling with your academics, Adam 2.0 suddenly makes you powerful that you understand all things. So if you want it, put your hand on your chest and say, Lord Jesus, I want Adam 2.0. I don't like Adam 1.0 because it's corrupt and has virus. Install your own in me. Let your operating system be in me that was in Christ Jesus. I will serve you and I will live by this operating system to be a savior to the problem of my world. Thank you for answering my prayers. Amen. So today, our world is crying for saviors once again and shouting, Savior, save us, you tribe of saviors. You children are the tribe of saviors. The world is crying, save us from Corona. Save us from Ebola. Save us, saviors, from bad music. You know bad music, bad songs, bad musicians. Save us from sex predators who touch children and tell them not to tell their parents and steal their future. Save us from bad leaders. You see, there are bad leaders stealing people's money. They are asking you, save us. Save us from bad people. Daddy and mommy is saying, save us from this wicked economic situation. Save us from all these wicked people who create fake drugs. Save us from bad people. So will you save us? You need to save our world from all the problems. So here are the questions today. One, find out seven other new inventions that man created out of what God created. Find out seven other new inventions that man created out of what God created. Two, write out seven differences between God and the 21st century man that you see around. What are the differences between God and the 21st century man? Three, what do you think you can do with your talent to fix the world's problem? What do you think you can do with your talent to fix the world's problem? And number four, what character problem do you struggle with at the moment that you think can stop you? So what are your challenges? What are those things you are struggling with? Maybe you are lying, you are stealing, you are disobedient, you are fighting, you are getting angry. What are those things you are struggling with? Right? Whatever it is, now that you have operating system of God 2.0, it changes the dynamics. So, here is your own play for today. You saved your room last week. So, daddy and mommy are crying. Save us, save us from our own room. So, you will go and save mommy and daddy's room today. That's what you will do. 
I know you're already saving your room. And I hope that your room is still tidy. But, so you go and save daddy and mommy. So tell daddy, I want to save your room. I'm a savior. Right? And go and save daddy and mommy's room. Now you will make a one minute video with the hashtag. Your parents know hashtag. Let them hashtag it. One minute video. Hashtag it saviors. And share what you will save our world from. And now you will go about it with me. So you, as a child, what will you save our world from? This is saviors challenge. Right? So you will perform something. Maybe you sing a song. Maybe you dance. Maybe you clean a room. Or maybe you create solution to corona or to problem or you fly a faster airplane a, an airplane that does not crash what will you save our world from today everyone is crying save us oh lord save us oh savior so what will you save our world from one minute video setting telling us what you will save our world from and how you will go about it right you can tag me on instagram at the family life therapist the family life therapist on instagram or facebook at praise for away so when your children do it right parents right hashtag it and tag me so that we can look at what your children are going to save our world from my saviors i am so proud of you thank you so much for joining me today so far we've talked about the operating system of god as many as are led by the operating system of god they are the sons of God. How oh, we know the sons of God is by the way they think, the way they talk, the way they feel, and what they save our world from. There's bad music. We need saviors to save us from bad music. There's bad movie. We need saviors to save us from bad music. We have bad people. We need you to save us from bad people. We have bad children. We need you to save us from bad children. We have bad predators. We need you to save us from all these people. We have corona. We need you to save us from corona. God has placed the solution in you. Thank you so much for joining me. You know how we end our class. We repeat our creed. Are you ready? One, two, go. I am a symbol of trust and I'm trustworthy. Whatever goes out of me must have passed the test of worship unto my God. I influence my sphere with superior values everywhere I go. I am responsible and I take responsibilities for whatever happens around me. I am love, and heaven is what you experience when you encounter me. I 12. Okay, so I'm gonna leave you, play one music for you by Mike Abdul. This one says Moira. Thank you so much for joining me. I love you so much. So I'll be expecting your Savior's challenge. Make sure you do it. One thing you will save our world from, and how you go about it, right? Send us in the video, perform it, and send it to me. Hashtag um, Saviors on Instagram at the Funny Life Therapies on Facebook at Praise for One Way. So, Mike Abdo, Saviors Dan, Momore. Hey. Make sure you have your breakfast. Hey, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. So we need to create our own Saviors dance. That will be your challenge for next week. You are going to create a dance step for Saviors. Okay? But that will be next week. Thank you very much. I love you. Have a fantastic week. Parents, thank you so much for releasing your children. I love you. My name is Praise. For where? Uncle Pierre. Bye-bye.